Hello everybody, this is Lotus Animations, and because I had such a great response on my last tutorial video and a whole lot of support and subscriptions and likes and comments, I am making two videos to show you how to make a better animation rig. Um, and I just want to say keep up with the comments because that really helps me put through videos. Um, so just keep telling me what you want to see next. Um, and I will do it. If I don't know it, I'll learn it. And uh, that's about it. So let's just get on get on through here. So this is an armature. I got screencast keys on to explain what I'm doing if I forget to say it. But I should hopefully be good at explaining it. This is an armature though. And the sphere at the uh, um, larger end is your origin joint. So it's where your rotation will be and this bit kind of determines where the end of your surface will be. So we're going to just um, put these uh, for everything that should move. I'm just going to shift D and put them for every, oh just move that up a little bit for every piece and I don't like to scale my armatures uh, I've had problems with it in the past I go into edit mode with tab and then hit G and resize the lower end like that and then I'm just gonna move that over like so and then gonna do the same thing with the head wonderful okay and First things first, I'm just going to move this real quick. Take a box select with B and just select every bit of the head. Oops, do not grab anything else. All of this stuff and hit Control J. Um, oops, I need to select an active one. Control J. Okay, so now all of that is one thing. I know that sounds weird, but I have a better way through shape keys to show that but that'll be a different episode so I'm just gonna put that back okay so now what you're gonna do is you're going to make all of these um, your bone the characters bones pretty self-explanatory um, so you grab whatever you're trying to have that so have paired to that bone then select the bone Hit Control P and do it with Armature Deform, because if you do automatic weights, which a lot of people do, it'll um, it'll select the other planes and then it'll affect it and it will get all messed up. But you don't want that. So now, if you select the bone, go into Pose Mode. Sometimes it'll work off the bat, sometimes it doesn't, which this is good because I need to show you what to do if it doesn't. So select your plane, go into Weight Paint go into add put your strength up to one and your radius should be fine select this little box with the uh, vertex and its vertex selection and then if you just click these vertexes sometimes more than once just depends then that will make it movable Ta -da. and so you're just gonna do that with every single piece um, all right and so that's done and then do the same. P, armature form. Pose. Weight paint. <clears throat> add, 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 add. There's the arm. Form, pose mode, select, select, wait, paint, vertex thing, red, bead. just check in, select. Mode. Oh. There. Wait. Add that. 
click, click, rotate. And then the last bit, the head. Select the bone. Control P, armature to form. Turn the bone into pose mode. Select the bone. Select the mesh. Weight paint. Vertices and make sure you get all of these crazy vertices. Just click everywhere to be safe. Make sure you get every single thing. And you will understand the why everything needs to be weight painted later. And then fantastic. Now, one last thing. This is gonna sound weird. Object mode, single bone, grab it, put it right there, and then, okay, so now we're going to start parenting things, so I'm going to grab this bone, this bone, this bone, and this bone, control P, to bone, ta -da. then I'm going to take this bone, this bone, this bone, and this bone, the bone. Now, why do I have this bone? This is your movement bone. Now, rather than selecting everything, you can just hit I, location, maybe go 50, move it, I, location, and then he's moving. And then, you can... I don't know, mess with him as he goes. So you don't have to do it all whenever. Now, that is armatures for you. Um, pretty basic, pretty basic rig. I mean, you are going to have to, um, you're going to have to move some things because he will rotate past it, but, um, it's for the best that the legs don't stay too parent you don't want to parent the legs to the body I learned this because if you ever want him to bend down to pick something up or something then his legs go floop and sometimes that doesn't look too good so it's best just to move the legs as you go and if you make a rotation and you don't want to control Z it just do an alt R same thing with when you move it alt G uh, scale it this. Now, the last thing about armatures that I want to show you is this really cool little feature. So, I'm going to take this plane, add a single bone to it, just like the others. Edit. Ta -da. Now, another thing you can do with bones is x ray, so they're always through the mesh, so you can always see them because it kind of gets annoying sometimes. Take this plane. Oop, I about did this just like the other stuff. It's not what I wanted to show you. Take this, put it to about where the elbow will be, extrude it out to the bottom, and now take the plane, go into edit mode with tab, hit control R. Good, don't move it, it'll mess up with your um your plane. Let's see if I do that, but I'm gonna just hit control Z and then you're gonna wanna subdivide this a bunch of times so that oop, lost it you can get these right here perfect okay now this is gonna sound weird but trust me it's pretty cool if you do it right select your mesh select your bone control P and Armature, not amateur. Armature to form. Now go into pose mode and then we're gonna weight paint it. And you're gonna weight paint your bone. Oops. Your bone like so. Leaving out the bit where the elbow is. So that when you go back into pose mode, it bends. Now I know that looks kind of gimpy right now, but if you do an Alt R, click on your mesh, grab everything but the elbow, move over slightly, and then move that up ever so slightly. 
Now this is where, I mean, you're kind of cheating, but it's still pretty cool. You can get a little bit more natural look to it. And also, I mean, you can you can do weight difference, differences in your weight paint so that, um, say you want to have your strength at a little less, um, and we'll make our radius smaller so I don't grab everything. And I need to subtract, that's why. I'm gonna grab these, and so that way, you can make it just a little bit more fluid. Oh, that's why. I don't want that. I want that. And then, I mean, this may or may not look good. I don't know. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. Then they kind of they move a little bit more. These kind of move just a little bit more. And uh, you'll have to do some changes. You'll have to figure out ways that make it look good and. Um, you'll have to toy with it with your own rig, but that is how you do armatures. So now we have a movable character that is a lot easier to handle because we don't have to worry about if we um, if we don't have to worry about the origins and all that stuff. And it makes a lot more sense with armatures, it really does, rather than rotating. You can't, um, you can't mess up as much with armatures. So uh, that was part one of the video. Next we'll be going into face motions with shape keys. Um, thank you for watching, this is Lotus Animations, and I'll see you later.